So you need to do two types of income statement using different posting method. Uh, rubble, the second one, and then the first one is margin, uh, absorption. So let's go to the absorption. Okay, absorption costing income statement. Okay, you will start with your sales. Okay, how to find your sales? Sales, you will take the 50,000 ringgit because this one is the unit sold. So basically, you need to take how many units is sold, then multiply with the selling price. So the selling price is 53 ringgit per unit. So multiply with the 50,000 units that being sold. So how much you will get? Can someone calculate for me? Do you have your calculator? Can you calculate for me? Two, six, uh, thank you, lock. Okay, let me write here. Uh, Two million, six, five, zero, thousand. Okay. Yes, correct. Thank you. Thank you for trying to calculate. Okay. That means you are following. Okay, cost of goods sold. You need to take still the amount, the quantity is the fifty thousand because you managed to sell fifty thousand units. But with what cost? Okay, so I put here as star. The star here is additional calculation where you need to put uh, here. I put down here as the extra calculation. This is referring to the star. So how you want to calculate for the cost? What are the costs that you need to set under absorption costing? Okay, first, direct material. Okay, the seven ringgit is from direct material. So you take direct material plus the second cost is direct manufacturing labor, seven, uh, 10 ringgit. This manufacturing labor you need to take and then you need to plus with the variable manufacturing cost. Rubber manufacturing cost is three ringgit fifty cent. Okay, and then we have this uh, fixed manufacturing cost. Okay, for absorption costing, they combine fixed and also variable cost as their product cost. So in the cost of goods sold, you will include both variable and fixed. Okay, but only for manufacturing cost. So that's why you put here seven ringgit direct material, ten ringgit direct labor. Okay, and these two. Trading gate 50 cent is for manufacturing but for variable and that's why here the fixed manufacturing since this one is in lump sum okay they put it 170,000 for the whole year for the total cost for fixed manufacturing they put it as 170,000 ringgit but you need to divide with 60,000 why because this 170,000 ringgit is for the whole production of production level is 160,000. So per unit, you need to divide with 60,000. All right. So now, how much is total for per unit cost here? How much is the total? Twenty-eight point three three. The rest. Thank you, Siti. Seven ringgit plus ten plus three point five. The advantage, right? okay. Thank you, minus three. Twenty eight point three three. Right. So you have twenty eight point three three. Twenty eight ringgit thirty three cent. This one is cost per unit. So you put here point three three or eight three. Twenty eight point three three. Eh. Uh, sorry, A3. Is that right? A3, point A3. Okay, so after that, multiply with 50,000. How much? Thank you. 
did it. And try to cut everything now. Anyone? Correct, right? Okay. Oh, 23. Yeah, because I. Thank you. 28 point. 23, 83. Okay, 28, 23, 0.83. So 23.83 multiply with 033. Okay, okay. Okay, good. And then you are following 23.33. So that's the correct one. Divide first, yes. Divide first and then divide first. Okay, so your cost of sol per unit is 23.33. Multiply with 50,000, how much? One, 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 say, okay, one million one hundred sixteen thousand five hundred ringgit. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you for the answer. Next, okay, after you minus sales minus cost of goods sold, how much is your gross margin? How much is your gross margin? Oops, you need to minus eh? Sales minus cost of the source. So let me just put it here as in paragraph. Okay, the minus. How much you get? Okay, good. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Manu. 1483500. So that is your gross margin. Or you can say that one is the gross profit. So now you want to minus with the uh, period cost. So your period cost is whatever we have here is marketing cost and marketing expense. So your marketing expense, five ringgit per unit. Okay. Uh, this is 5 ringgit per unit. Uh, how much is your sol? Sol is 50,000. Eh? Okay, so variable here. Why why is mentioned here this one is variable? Because per unit is what uh, it is. This is for your uh, variable. And the total here is for your fixed, uh, man, fixed marketing expense. If it's per unit, the one is uh, referring to the variable cost, the variable type, and the total here is referring to the fixed type. Okay, so you have marketing expense two types actually, variable and also uh, fixed marketing expense. So if you split two, you will see that for variable, how much is sold? 50,000 units. Multiply per unit, marketing uh, variable, marketing expense is 5 ringgit. So how much is this? 50,000 multiplied by 5. 250,000. Thank you. Okay, then your fix. You just follow the fix. Alright, so follow fix here. Okay, plus this two. 250,000 plus 100,000. 350,000. Okay, yes. EQ minus city. Okay, now you have your total marketing expense as 350,000. This is your gross margin Ma uh, minus with your marketing expense here. How much? So I put it here in bracket to indicate this one is to minus. How much is your operating expense then? One one three three five hundred. One one three three. Okay, thank you. I think all of you got it correct. Thank you, Tan. Also, 
one million one hundred thirty three thousand ringgit five hundred ringgit. Okay, so that is your answer. Operating income if you calculate based on absorption costing method. Okay, so simple, right? Okay, this one is using absorption costing. Okay, so you know what's the difference, right? Absorption for product cost. COGS is 166500. Oh, 166. But the total, the operating income is it? Right? Let me check. Eh? 50,000 multiplied 22.33. One more, yes. 1166. One, one, Thank you, time. 166500. So, 26500 minus 1665. Then. 2650 minus 11, 6615, 1483. Okay, the rest is, I think the rest correct, right? Total correct. Okay, just to be sure. Yeah. Yep, total is correct. So, your answer, the final answer, if you are using absorption costing, your operating income is 1.1335 million ringgit. Okay. So let's go to the second one. Okay. What happened to your income statement if you are using variable costing? So for variable, you must remember that they split fixed and variable. So only for variable cost they put under or as their product cost. So in your uh when you calculate the cells, you must minus all the variable. Okay, that's here is the calculation. So let's start again. Sales 50,000 units multiply with the selling price 53. So how much we calculated before? 2650. Okay, let me put here 2650. Right. Okay, so now your variable cost. So your variable cost, uh, 50,000 unit, again, you put here the unit sold, multiply with the cost of the sold, but this one is only for variable. So here I put star, so let's put the star calculation here. This one is extra or additional calculation. Okay, 7 ringgit for direct material. Direct material here, 7 ringgit. And then direct manufacturing level, 10 ringgit. And then what else is variable? Here, variable manufacturing cost three ringgit fifty cent. So plus three fifty. So all this under product cost. So products product cost basically what you put in your cost of goods sold. So if you total this three, how much? Three ringgit fifty cent. Okay. So you put twenty ringgit fifty cent out here. So multiply with fifty thousand. One zero two five thousand. Okay, right. So that is your cost. Okay, then we have also another variable expense which is under marketing expense. Okay, marketing expense is five ringgit referring to the variable. So you minus here after your cost of goods sold, you put. Uh, let me put here variable marketing expense. So it's here variable marketing expense. So fifty thousand unit sold, multiply with the five ringgit per unit variable marketing expense. So how much? But don't you need to get the hundred? Uh, I cannot see. I cannot hear you very well, Terry. Okay. Can you, can you go? Can you go up? Go up again, madam. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Two hundred fifty. Oh boy. Where is the way? Okay. Here. Mm. Mm. Okay. Madam, uh, sorry. Can okay. if you go up? Sorry, madam. If you go up, don't you think you need to add the hundred? Sorry? If you go up, can you go up for the for the other answer? Because I think you need to add the hundred. Oh. If you go up, fine. yeah, you see, like, you, I think you you got the marketing uh, plus the 100 per year, plus 100,000 per year. Yeah, that one, that one is referring to the fix, fix. 
Oh, that's because it's, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not Tokyo Bowl Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so sorry, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. For variable, you put the variable, you need to minus all the variable expense first. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the difference between uh, variable and also absorption costing. Okay, so you want to split variable and also fix. Okay, so now what happened if you minus uh, 2.65 million with 1.025 and uh, 0.25? Or you can just plus these two first. 1.025 plus 250. You put here. That's your total before you minus with the cells. Uh, How much? One, two, seven, five. Okay. Uh, it's very. Oh, one three. One three or one two? One zero two five. One two, right? One two seven five. Yeah. Mm, okay. One to seven five. Let me put it somewhere here. It's too close. Okay, this one I put here. Much better, right? Okay, this one I put here. Okay, one to seven five. Okay, so now you have this total. So again, you need to minus to get your contribution margin. Sales minus uh, one two seven five. How much? Oh, uh, there your microphone. Can you move? Can you hear my voice here? Your contribution margin is 1375. Okay, you can see now the difference. If you want to calculate a con contribution margin using the variable costing method, Terry, uh, your microphone. Oh, can sorry. You... Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, for variable method, uh, before you want to calculate your contribution margin, the cells minus with the variable costs which include in your cost of the soil or the variable expense and also you need to minus with the period cost for this example is the variable marketing expense then only you get your contribution margin okay after you get contribution margin then only you minus with all the fixed costs okay so for the fixed process let me go back to the question here this is your question uh, we have these two types of fixed costs here fixed manufacturing and also this one is for marketing fixed marketing marketing expense but the total here is the fixed the fixed portion is 100,000 so these two you need to minus you treat this as your period cost that's why you minus after your contribution margin okay manufacturing is 170 is it 170? 170 here okay the question gives the lump sum amount total fixed manufacturing cost is 170,000. So you put here 170,000 and then your marketing fixed marketing expense. Fixed. You already fixed, right? 100,000. So 170,000 plus 100,000, 270,000. Okay. Okay, uh, 270,000, your contribution margin is 1375 minus your fixed cost, 